Hey guys, what's going on? It's Lefty from 643 Productions coming at you here with a Modern Warfare 3 free-for-all gameplay commentary. Here I am in the map Dome using the MP5 Silence. God, I love this gun. It's a lot of fun. Again, another... I, I enjoy using underrated guns. I don't know why. It's uh, it's like a challenge. And, uh, and I accept the challenge by using them to win a free-for-all game. I feel accomplished, and that's pathetic. But regardless, uh, using the MP5, like I said again, here on Dome. Now, uh, Robert Bowling tweeted earlier, gave us a sneak peek at the coming DLC for Modern Warfare 3. He gave us a quick screenshot of one of the new maps called Park. I will be doing a video on that later if you guys enjoy, uh, or if you guys so choose, or if you guys want to see that. Uh, it's, it's actually pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. It's a, it looks like a variation of Central Park. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to ask you because this is something that I was I was wondering about ever since I, ever since they uh, they dropped they being Activision dropped the details on Call of Duty Duty Elite and how the premium services uh, were going to break down and what you were going to get for your premium services. Now, uh, in getting Call of Duty Elite, you do pay the fifty dollar one time fee for a year subscription, and then you get all the DLC for the uh, for the DLC for you you know, the, the Call of Duty game in that year. Uh, it's a little shake. I haven't read the rules on, or the, the guidelines on how it approaches uh, a, a year subscription that spans two different Call of Duty games, because theoretically it's possible to buy a, a Call of Duty Elite subscription that spans uh, the DLC windows of two different Call of Duty games, and obviously you're they're not going to be giving you all that for free or for a reduced price, so uh, I'm interested to see how that works. But that's not the point. The point is, I'm wondering how, how people are going to enjoy getting piecemeal DLC, because now, up until this point, we've all been used to the standard, uh, the build-up to the DLC drop for whatever Call of Duty game. Uh, for, I've only really experienced it in Black Ops, and that was, and even then, that was fun. As much as I, you know, trashed on Black Ops from time to time, I enjoyed uh, the, the those DLC days where it was, oh my god, it's like you're playing a brand new game, um, and, and I enjoyed all that, and I had a lot of fun. Now, I'm wondering how people are going to... But anyway, we, we were used to that whole you get uh, the, the, the four or five maps or what have you on one day and then you play those maps ad nauseum until you get sick of them and then you go back to the regular playlists and all that stuff. But now with Call of Duty Elite, the Call of Duty Elite premium subscribers are going to be getting piecemeal DLC. They are going to be getting DLC one or two bits at a time. They are going to be getting, like, let's say, a map. They aren't going to get a map pack. They're going to get a map. Uh, and then they're going to get a, a, a Spec Ops map, or they're going to get a Spec Ops mode, or they're going to get... I, I don't know Call of Duty or... Neither Infinity Ward uh, nor Activision has confirmed or denied any other presence of any other kind of variations on the DLC. Uh, they've talked about maps, obviously, for multiplayer and Spec Ops modes, uh, but nothing else. Nothing like new weapons, new uh, new titles, new something else for the multiplayer. Uh, they haven't they haven't confirmed anything like that. But I'm wondering how people are going to react to that. How are you, and specifically, how are you, the viewers, going to going to take that? Do you like that? I mean, because again, going back to, to like let's say Black Ops, I really enjoyed that 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 week or so, maybe a little less than a week of oh my gosh, this is like playing a brand new game with all these new maps. But now we're going to be getting in Modern Warfare 3, we're just going to be getting like let's say a map, and then we'll play that for. I, I mean, I could play a map all day, and then I'll just say okay, I'm done, a la the Battlefield 3 beta. And I, I don't know how people are going to react to that. To, to Yes, you're going to get pretty much, uh, so says Activision, you're going to get DLC every month. But it, there's something to be said for, for waiting for the anticipation of all that DLC, of a DLC like four or five map packs. So I don't know. Let me know in the comments how you guys are going to react uh, to getting the piecemeal DLC. But anyway, guys, that's my time. I got to get out of here. Thank you for joining. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to drop a like on this video if you did enjoy. I'm out.